Yo, what's good with y'all, man? And like, you gonna be my Valentine? Yeah. You is? Yeah. So we gonna go on a date? Mm, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to McDonald's, get a hash brown. Hell, you mean I don't know? No. You thought I was spending money? <laughs> you thought I was spending money? No, I'm good. Like, I, I'm i that type of female. Like, I got my own shit, you know? But did you think I was spending money? That mag on a nigga, so they lag on a nigga. Then a bitch, you know she suck a dick and gag on a nigga. Then a bitch, but now I'm also not a cool. In the house, gotta grind so we eat. I went through the stew and I fucked with the beat. Lil' Shorty, she wets up me all like a treat. A lot of my mind trying to get through the week. I spike up a wood and I sit and just think. Had thoughts about that. I get the kick that I'm out. These bitches be tripping, they fucking the gang and thinking I'm taking them out. I had a trust to go fuck up my life, but little nigga, I'm making it out. I cannot hang with no niggas that don't want no money, they shaking it out. Look, I'm on a mission. I'm working with hella precision. Remember them days I was stuck in the house with no money, I made a decision. I went to school, I was showing them niggas my music, they ain't see the vision. I'm with the gang, we all getting money together, I call it division. Hold on, let me tell it. I do it. Uh, Alright, we're gonna punch in on that part. I might have to restart, let me see. Hey, I get the kick that I'm out. These bitches be tripping, they fucking the gang and thinking I'm taking them out. I had a trust to go fuck up my life, but little nigga, I'm making it out. I cannot hang with no niggas that don't want no money, they shaking it out. Look, I'm on a mission, I'm working with hella precision. Remember them days I was stuck in the house with no money, I made a decision. I went to school, I was showing them niggas my music, they ain't see the vision. I am with the gang, we all getting money together, I call it division. I like that one. The good thing I like about my preset is it's already, like, all the effects is already on there. So all I got to do is rap on the shit. It makes it easier for me. You feel what I'm saying? All I got to do is rap on it and tweak with it just a little bit. I ain't got to engineer, do this, do that. Like, I'm not with all that. I'm just trying to record, knock some songs out the way. And I make hella music fast because of this. You know what I'm saying? So for all y'all that's watching that make music, that's starting out or whatever, I recommend get a preset. And in order to get a preset, you can you can pay a guy to make you a preset. Just send him a song so he can get an example on your voice. Or you can just do it, you know, find your ways. I use Logic X Pro or Logic Pro X. This is one of my old projects. I think this is uh, The Matrix is Fallen. Yeah, this is The Matrix is Fallen project right here. So what I do is, and this is the thing too. This is some advice for you guys that's making music. I use the same preset every time I record music just to make it easier for me because I'm a person that don't know how to mix. I'm going to keep it all the way honest with y'all. I do not know how to mix. So this is a preset that I that I found that's really good with my voice. It sounds pretty professional. I don't got to do too much moving around. I don't even mess with these. These are all my effects on my voice. I don't mess with any of these. These are all the same. Literally, all I do is I just record. And I like I, I adjust this a little bit. Maybe I switch the EQ or the space designer a little bit. But other than that, I don't mess with stuff, man. Like all my music pretty much sounds the same unless I'm using auto tune. And that's a whole nother program, which is uh this right here, the Apollo. So, yeah, man, I don't really do too much. But this is a no auto song. No auto songs is usually the easiest for me. So we're going to go ahead and rock this out. I just wanted to show you all the program I use and stuff. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's Logic Pro X, and you can get these cracked. You don't got to pay for these. These is expensive as shit. Logic, Logic Pro X is like $300, so find a way to crack it before you uh buy it, okay? There's ways to get it, okay? Show y'all what we rocking with. See where I'm going with it. I might redo it one more time just to give it that energy, that, mm, that, that, mwah. I might redo it one more time just to, just to, you know, and the vocals sound real good, but they dry right now because I ain't got too much on it. I, I'm about to add the space designer on it. 
and shit like that. And I just give it that little that little reverby effect to it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we're gonna add that on there. We're gonna we're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the rest of these verses down, then I'm gonna show y'all the finished product and how this shit is, man. I get the cake in the mouth. Thinking I'm taking them out. Making it out. Shaking it out. I'm working with hella precision. Made a decision. Ain't see the vision. Call it the vision. Let me go tell it. Never in hell. No, that I know. It. So it's getting a little toasty here, man. This studio get hot. Like I told you, I'm in this little ass cl uh, closet making shit happen, man. So look, hey, I get the kick that I'm out. These bitches be tripping, they fucking the gang and thinking I'm taking them out. I had a trust to go fuck up my lap, a little nigga. I'm making it out. I cannot hang with no niggas that don't want no money. They shaking it out. Look, I'm on a mission. I'm working with hella precision. Fuck out that beef and let's get to some money. You know that it's too much to get. My mama been working, she tired as fuck, so that's why I've been trying to get rich. I'm locked in the stool, I can do this shit with a no water, why don't need a pitch? I live with my mask, cause I do not like being seen, they thinking I'm sick. Yeah, whoa. Rich nigga pop out, they hate that I made it because I'm a drop out. We knocking this top out, she bringing her friends and I'm pulling my cock out. My gun got a stock out, deleted IG is some shit that I black out. It was supposed to be my 12th grade year. I was supposed to graduate this year. Realistically, I was supposed to graduate last year, but I got held back. So, um, yeah, things was a little bit slow for me. But I was supposed to graduate this year, man. And I was actually super close to graduating. But what happened was um, when, when the whole pandemic and shit happened, y'all know how, like, they, they forced us to do, like, online school and different shit like that. Um, that kind of slowed me up, you know what I mean? Because, like, I told y'all with that online school shit, nobody was focusing on that shit. Let's be honest. Like, when they told us we got to do online school, how many of y'all was really focusing and really like doing that online work. Let's be honest. Like niggas is not focusing on that shit. Niggas is not waking up early to go on no computer and look at that damn teacher on the computer. Like niggas is not trying to do that. And if they is doing it, they're not really taking it serious as if they was to be in class. You feel what I'm saying? So that kind of slowed me up. But one of the things that was really like the biggest thing for me and why I wanted to stop school is it was holding me back from chasing my dreams, bro. Um, once I was like, once I hit 11th grade, ninth grade year was cool. 10th grade year was cool. But once I hit like 11th grade, and I started focusing on different things that I really wanted to pursue and do, like music. And, and I found YouTube around this time. And um, I was, like, focusing on my clothing brand, the Up Next brand. I was doing a lot of stuff, you know, uh, when I was in 11th grade. That's when I finally started to, you know, start different things that I wanted to start. Um, and once I started starting it and I started making, like, some money from it and different things like that, like, school was holding me back, bro. We in school for six, seven hours a day, right? Throughout that whole day of us being in school, we could be getting money. We can be learning things about our business, different things like that. But we instead, we in school being programmed, all this bullshit. Um, and then school, not only does school program, program you the bullshit, school will really stress you the fuck out. School will take your energy. You got to study for this test for this teacher. You got to study for this test for that teacher. You know what I mean? If you fail the test, you got to do it over. And, and it's, you got to focus on getting credits and all this dumb shit. School for me, bro, I always hated school, so I ain't got nothing nice to say about school. But uh, once I hit this this certain level, man, I'm like, man, like I'm getting money now. You know, my, I'm, I'm starting my own shit now. Like this shit is holding me back from doing what I want to do. Like, And I'm telling y'all, a lot to you not. Soon as the soon as the pandemic started and they shut down schools and I had to do school at home, literally my whole entire life changed. The pandemic did a lot of bad things to a, to a lot of people. The pandemic was the worst thing that ever happened to some people. For me, the pandemic was the best thing that ever happened. Like I gained a lot of money. I I I learned to love myself a lot more because I was forced to be in the house. I was on quarantine. I was forced to be inside to learn myself, love myself more, and stuff like that. Um, I was focused on my YouTube. I was making tons of music. I was focused on my clothing line. Like I had money coming from a whole bunch of different directions. Like I was just on my shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and that and that was the, that was because I was out of school. I had all the time in the world to just focus, focus, focus on what I wanted to do. You feel what I'm saying? And around that time, I hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Five sisters, four brothers. No, no, no. 
November of 2019 and I was able to get 100,000 subscribers within a few months of me making my channel. This just go to show you right here, man. Anything is possible. You can do whatever you put your mind to, dog. And to prove you're really not scamming people, you need to send him his money back because he literally did everything you said. He hit you up on the email and everything when he wasn't responding on IG. And Honestly, nothing, to be honest. I don't really say anything to the people. Like, I still get people in my DMs talking shit. Not necessarily saying scammer, but, like, just talking shit overall about, like, my platforms and things of that nature. I don't really feed it no mind anymore. I used to, like, when I was on YouTube. I don't really play a lot of this shit no mind no more, to be honest. I kind of just take it how it comes because that's just a part of the territory. Yeah, niggas, people, niggas. People, what you yeah. about to say? They're they going to try to knock you down anyway. You know, yeah, it's just what it, it's what come with the the territory, and um, as far as the situation goes, because I don't even think I ever spoke on the situation on like a a platform or anything like that. But as far as the <laughs> yeah. situation even goes, it was a feature that I was supposed to get done, um, because I had like five features that day, and I, I had I was doing a sale that day. I remember I was doing a sale for features, and I had like five features I had got done that day including the guy's feature that called me a scammer i did mm -hmm. the feature but I, I forgot to send the the song to him because i had so much fucking features that day so i forgot to send the song to him whole time i had the song already done i just forgot to send it over instead of the guy reaching out to me and and calling me on instagram and things of that nature he immediately went on fucking youtube and tried exposing me that's when i got pissed off because it's like bro i don't have no reason to expose you out of 100 bucks like even with, like with me and you like if something come up, I'm gonna let you know something came up. Like yeah. I don't have no reason to just yeah. run off with your fucking money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I just didn't like how the guy just went straight on YouTube, just trying to get cloud off my name when he could have easily fucking emailed me or you know. And even if I didn't respond back, give me time to respond, bro. Like I got DMs flooded. Like I'm not just yeah, gonna respond yeah. like this. How the niggas in DMs? <laughs> exactly, bro. So that's the only thing I ain't fuck with. But other than that, like all blessings to him. I don't. There's no hate. It's no beef. I just had to get that out of the way because I know a lot of people wanted to know that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people. A lot of there's a lot. Yo, it's on, it's on YouTube. It's and then you see YouTube. how it was a domino effect after that. Like you see how all these other people trying to come out and make it seem like I was just some fucking scammer. That's the only guy, literally the only guy that came out and said that I took his fucking money. Then you got all these other people making YouTube yeah. videos saying I'm a scammer. The whole time I didn't even get money from half you people that's on YouTube saying I'm a scammer. So how am I scamming y'all? Dude, there's a lot. There's other people. Uh, there's a lot of short pages too that, that I started seeing. Like a lot of people trying to, you know what I'm saying? I exactly. see a lot, a lot of interviews trying to, they try to get you. The whole time it was one person that can say that I didn't send him his song. So where's all these other people coming from that saying I'm fucking scamming them? Show the proof. Show the receipts that y'all sent me money right. that I scammed. I never right. seen a short of y'all showing receipts other than that one person that I didn't send the song to. So I don't know, man. I thought it was strange. <laughs> like, yo, nigga trying to, man, yo, nigga trying to bust up your brain. That's what it is. They what trying to fuck up the, the brand, but it's. It's like, come on, everybody that know me knows, like, nigga, just reach out. Like, I have no reason to take your money. Like, even like with this shit, if if I wasn't, um, cause I was, I was thinking because I was gonna have to reschedule this shit again, cause I had some shit going on this morning. Like, even if that was the case, I would have sent you your bread back, and we could have did it another time. Like, I'm not out to take nobody's fucking money. Facts. Like, Facts. That ain't that ain't my stilo. I don't run off with people bread. <laughs> Two to the people, word. Two to the people, bro. Trying to be the best version of me, but that's hard to be. Trying to show these kids. This is my pop. Now, it's just so crazy because I never visit him, y'all. Like, all throughout my life, I tried to kind of avoid coming to see him. I'm going to make you proud, man. I'm going to continue to make you proud. I'm going to continue to motivate people i'm gonna continue to do what i gotta do as a man i'm gonna continue to feed my family and get my family to the next level i appreciate everything you've done for me in my life i really do i appreciate you being a good father to me you know it's a lot of 
kids that don't got fathers and father figures and I'm just blessed to even have, a, you know, moments with you. I'm just blessed to even have funny moments where we baked cookies at fucking three in the morning watching Fresh Prince, man. <laughs> Damn, I miss you. You know, um, we ain't perfect in this life, you know, you made a lot of mistakes. I make mistakes, you know. I just want to let you know I forgive you for everything you've done. Despite what everybody else got to say about you. I forgive you, Dad. This my this my first time coming here in like two years. You know, I, I try to avoid it the most. Because every time I get here, I just... It, I, be, I be getting emotional every time I come here. You know what I'm saying? Um... <laughs> And it's like every time I come here, it's just his, his head stone and everything is just so dry. It's like people don't visit him. People don't see him. I need to start coming more often and seeing my pop, man. You grown me into being the man I am today, you know? I know a lot of y'all probably like, why are you recording this? This should be your moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only reason I'm just recording is because I want y'all to get to know me more. You know? And I want y'all to understand that I'm not perfect. And I go through things behind closed doors as well. I don't have the perfect life. You know? Um, I just want y'all to know that, man. And um, It's just crazy to think that at some point of our lives, we all gonna be in the same situation. At some point. That's why you just gotta enjoy life, bro. Just enjoy it. And just love life, man. There's so much great things within this world that we didn't see, that we didn't do. You have so many powers, man. Find your purpose. Find your profound reason of why you on this planet, bro. Love yourself more. Like, there's so many things you can do. And, you, and people just choose to be stagnant. And with me losing my dad, it just brought me to being more of a man. You know, I didn't have a father figure, you know, in my, my teenage uh, years um, to teach me how to be a man. You know, I had to kind of learn things on my own. You know, like I said, my dad died when I was nine. So it's like people don't understand how important that is to not have a father figure. And this is why I started my channel, because I wanted to inspire more men to be more, like, more of men. I wanted to inspire more men to be great. Not lose their life and throw themselves in jail and, you know. And I'm doing all of this because my dad, man. If it wasn't for me losing my dad, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be making music. I'd probably be doing something else. I'd probably be in the streets right now. So, I just want to let y'all know, though, man. Just live y'all life, bro. Be the best you can be and just, just don't let up. I understand hard times is temporary. Um, I've been going through a lot recently, just trying to move out and just trying to get my city out of the hood or my family out of the hood. And it's overwhelming, y'all. You know, growing up into being an adult as a man with no, with no route is just very hard, man. That's why I said it's very important to have a father figure, but. That's why I'm going to do the best I got to do for when I have kids. I'm going to give them the world, man. I'm switching the code. Yeah, 
I know some niggas done changed up. Yeah, I know these niggas been lying to me. Yeah, I know these niggas ain't trash, but. Yeah, I know these niggas ain't my home. Like a tsunami, my bitch, that's some water. My heaven, baby, and hot me your daughter. Niggas get wet, so I had to get smarter. Ball out on niggas, I feel like I'm caught up. Bull of the dope, gotta come through the water. Stand on my money, and bitch, I got taller. Jumped on the school, tryna give me a dollar. I'm missing a hand, and I really should call her. That bitch let me down, now I'm feeling a story. Too many damn. What's good with y'all, man? Yeah, I was a janitor at my school. I had a, I had a job before that. I was working at um, Wendy's. I had applied for Wendy's and I was working there for about a day, and then I ended up quitting because I just wasn't fucking with it. So I ended up working at my school because they had like this little thing where I forgot what it was called, but it was like a little thing where like kids can sign up to work within mm -hmm. the school and like clean up and do little shit like that. So yeah, I was a janitor. And it was it wasn't paying shit, but like seven dollars or something like that. $7. But that little money at the time, that was like some money for me. Like I was having like a hundred dollars coming in every two weeks and shit. It was bad. But at that time, I just needed something. So I feel good about it. I'm gonna have to go with well, one, I used to play football a lot when I used to be outside. So probably like playing football or like just doing like wild neighborhood shit, like fucking nigga knocking and all the wild shit that you would do as a kid. I even got in trouble in school. Have I ever got in trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I got in trouble so many times in school. Yeah, what do you have to do? What do you have to do to get in trouble? Just dumbass shit. Uh, <laughs> throwing shit at people. <laughs> you know, all that type of stuff. Going to the bathroom, not coming back to the class and shit. Coming to school late. I used to I used to come to school wearing jeans and all that when I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, I used to be wilder. Escaping detention. <laughs> yeah, I used to be wilder. I say escaping attention. I don't blame you, bro. That should be boring. <laughs> Man, them two hours of attention, those shit used to be crucial. You just sitting there doing nothing. Like what? Crazy. You can't read no book, can do nothing. Crazy. That's that's some that's some damn uh that's not like some damn uh damn that like prison. Yeah, like some confinement or some shit. I, I forgot how you put that in a whole put you in a hole basically. But you're doing it did it in, in a whole different form, bro. Right. That, that is kind of like what it is for real. No, you can't be nothing in that damn detention. You can't you can't do shit. That shit would drive you crazy though. That shit would drive you nuts. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't rocking with it. That I mean it was wild in the school. <laughs> because I used to be the bathroom and shit. <laughs> yeah, I used to be like, can I use the bathroom? I used to go in that motherfucker and just stay in there and never come out. And they used to send the principals and shit. Did we what? Yeah, they used to send the principals to the bathroom and come get me. I used to be like, man, what the? Damn. I used to act like I was taking a shit when they used to come in there. I'm like, yo, I'm taking a shit. That's why I took too long. No, we're not trying to hear that. Go back to class. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cause that school shit will have you going nuts, man. It will. I be, yo, I be doing that shit at work, bro. I be, I be doing that shit at work. This, as soon, as soon as like she's a sick dirty or something, I'm going straight to the bathroom. This, this, but, yo, why you think they call it the rest room? You guys can rest. The rest room. The rest room. I'm sitting my ass right here. It's all ready to get up. I'm sitting my ass right there. It's all ready to get up. <laughs> I'm cute. Yeah, Cause your ass gonna pull up. They gonna pull up. So like, so we got J Rock up next in the building. What up? What's going on with it, man? We here a long time coming. <laughs> we were supposed to do this a long time ago, bro. Like, we put <laughs> man, supposed to bend to us because we just we just, just so much going on. Yeah. I once, you know what I'm saying a lot of shit is going on. I once, it's like too much shit going on. Yeah. You know what I'm for saying? Sure. I'm working, shit. You working? I'm working. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's so much going on, man. So much going on. Uh, first and foremost, died because of this, so you know. But um, my father died from HIV, you know, growing up. Um, and that shit traumatized the shit out of me because I was nine years old. Um, I loved my dad so much, man. My me and my dad was so close, dog. 
Um, and I, I'm getting chills even talking about this shit because I'm getting flashbacks on like memories from me and my father, man. Like I, I fucking love my dad, man. Like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in this position helping you guys, dog. Um, I'm getting emotional as hell, dog. I never get emotional like this, but bear with me, bear with me. Um, so I lost my father at nine years old. When I lost my father, it traumatized me. And and one of the things that it did was it 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 fucked up my mental health so bad to the point where I didn't want to speak to anyone. I didn't want to speak my problems to nobody. Um, not even my mother. It was times where I would wake up crying out of nowhere. Um, I used to tell, I remember I used to tell my mom, I used to wake up crying out of nowhere and I used to run in my mom's room and she, and she used to be like, uh, bear with me. I'm shaking. I got chills, man. Um, she used to be like, yo, what, what are you crying about? What's wrong? Woo, woo, woo. And I tell her like, you know, I'll be so scared because I didn't want to get yelled at. I'm like, yo, you know, I'm like, I don't know. I always tell her, I don't know. I remember this shit like yesterday. Um, I, I literally couldn't sleep at night. It was times where I could not sleep at night because I couldn't process the fact that my father was was gone. You know what I'm saying? I loved it, that dude, man. Um, You know, I had, you know, my family lied, you know, about the situation. You know what I mean? Um, they lied about his death. They they said that he died from something else, but it was really AIDS. Um, and that shit fucked me up because it's like, you know, you guys are my family. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you guys are my family. Why would you guys lie about some shit like that, man? You guys told me that my, my father died from cancer. Whole time he died from something else. You know, my mom could have got HIV. You know, what if my father would have had intercourse with my mom? And my mom would have got that, you know? What if, what, if, what if my father had intercourse with my mom when she was pregnant with me? I could have been born with that, you know? Why, why lie about something like that? So that fucks me up, and it made me hate family. It made me hate family. I, I hated them people. It went from doing it three times a day to five times a day. Like, it leads to a real addiction, bro. And once you get older and you start doing it for years, it becomes a serious problem. Because once you, like I told you, once you get in your 20s, once you get in your 30s, this guy's in their 20s, 30s, even 40s that's still addicted to this, bro. Like, just imagine how they feel. Imagine being a 40-year-old man, 30-year-old man, being addicted to goddamn adultery videos. Like, just, just imagine, I can't even fathom that. I'm 21 and I'll I be feeling like shit. But just imagine being in your 30s with a family and all this stuff, and this is what you addicted to. Like, it, it sucks, man. It really does. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. But. Yo, what's good with y'all, man? I feel great. I hope y'all having a blessed day. The guy DM'd me, he's a college athlete. He DM'd me and he sent me a video of him dumping out a bunch of Xanaxes because I guess he was really, you know, addicted to Xanaxes and stuff. And he sent me a video of him throwing them out into the toilet and flushing the toilet and he told me that I changed his life from the video. It, uh, that shit, that shit kind of was like, that was a crazy moment for me because like I was really just doing YouTube. You know, when you're doing YouTube and, and you're posting, yeah, you're posting it to get some attraction and you want people to be, you know, subscribe to your channel, et cetera, yeah. but you don't really be paying yeah, attention want to how the yeah. videos touch people. Like, I was oblivious to that shit. I didn't really know that I was touching people. Like, I knew I was, like, doing something positive with the videos, but I didn't know that it was going to resonate with yeah. people. Yeah. No speaker or, you know, the things you're doing now. Like, what did you really want? What were some things you wanted to become? I used to want to join the military when I was younger. I used to go to, um, they used to have, like, these little classes and shit. Well, not classes, but in my high school, they used to have people, like, come to the school or whatever. Um, for like college or whatever and you can like pick whatever you would want to do after you graduate mm -hmm. and I used to go there like looking through the magazines and shit <laughs> trying to find ways to join the military that was that was what I was into you know I was even doing YouTube around that time but that was um like a little like plan b for me back then I was trying to join the military what would you change Oh uh, shit, I would change all type of shit. They, they gonna fuck around and assassinate my ass if I become president. 
<laughs> this, hey, if I become president, this whole world getting fucking restructured from the bottom <laughs> up. <laughs> they ain't gonna like that shit. They're gonna kill my black ass. You will you you yo, you gotta you gotta get up so give us a breakdown. Like shit, I'm changing doing? nigga, I'm changing the food system. We it ain't it ain't gonna be no McDonald's, it ain't gonna be no none of that Zaxby's, no Wendy's, none, none of that. Everything unhealthy, we getting rid of it. Uh, fruits and vegetables is no longer gonna have a cost on it. It's gonna be free. Anything that's from the planet is gonna be free. You ain't gotta pay. I'm telling you, this shit gonna be all restructured. The pharmaceutical business is going out. <laughs> I, I, that shit is going out the door. Pills, all that medicine. <laughs> shit, we, we getting that out of the door. Oh. <laughs> Like a yeah. big ass, like a big ass mall full of books, where you can come in and find all the ancient books, everything that had all the knowledge, the the real shit. I, I would do something like that. I got a lot of plans to do some shit though when I blow up. I got a lot of plans. I want the first thing I want to do is I want to I want to travel the world and do um, almost like lectures. Like I want to travel, go to different states. And I want to go to like uh, venues and just uh, motivate people. You know what I mean? And maybe like talk to the crowd, like have them raise their hand and tell me something they're going through so I can give them advice and shit. What are some important things that you would teach your kids in the future if you wasn't have children? Discipline. Discipline, for sure. Discipline. Because that was something that I didn't I didn't have growing up because I didn't have my father around growing up. My dad died and I, so growing up I didn't have that father figure or that big homie telling me, hey, you need to be doing this or you need to be doing that. You know, I had to really find my way, you know, growing up. So the first thing I would teach my kids is definitely discipline, definitely to stand on morals and stand for something. Those those two things is, will take a kid a long way. Discipline and stand for something and keep your word as a man. He would actually keep away from your kids in the future. Um, Probably cell phones and like devices and different things like that, because. That's one of the biggest things that's really keeping kids like lost. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. they're getting exposed to so much shit being on those phones and all those devices and they're not learning. You know, when you on those devices all day long, scrolling through TikToks and all that other bullshit, that shit mm -hmm. clog your brain and clog your creativity and different things like that. Nice. So I will keep my kids away from that.